we established ourselves in, in the city of New York. Of course, we, we knew that it was the most important city in the United States. And I could uh, prove that uh, when I went to presenting conferences around the country, just the mention coming from uh, New York, it, it called everybody's attention. So by then, uh, I knew we, we were on the right path in the city of New York in helping our community to continue its development. Uh, also, I have to mention that we have participated in hundreds of television, radio, uh, newspaper interviews in all this time. Uh, this has been very important. Uh, we have been very active, not only in founding an organization, but uh, in being a member of several others. The Latino movement in the United States, quite frankly, and, and on the entire planet, is a very fascinating one in this new century that we're coming into. Um, in the United States, we know that Latinos are the fastest growing population uh, in terms of youth movement. Uh, economically, we're going to be the most viable economic force in the United States by the year 2030. By the year 2050, Latinos will be the majority population in the United States. And when you look around the world, um, the Latino population is going to be a major mover and shaker in terms of culture, in terms of the economy, in terms of the, uh, the arts, uh, and I think increasingly in terms of education and, and science. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuge of your teeming shore. Bring these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Here, we have key evidence of the spirit of America inspired by Bartholdi's Statue of Liberty and Lazarus's sonnet, The New Colossus. The We Are You project is an attempt to restore the hope of the American dream. First of all, you have to remember, I'm the founder of El Museo del Barrio and its first director, which is a museum that was dedicated uh, to the Latino culture dedicated to the Puerto Rican culture. So when you talk about identity, my identity is larger than the notion of my mother being Puerto Rican, my father being, my biological father being Portugal, my stepfather being Puerto Rican. It's larger than that. I'm not, I'm not stuck there. I'm not hostage to it. I saw myself as an American. I would probably, um, I want to consider myself an American Latino artist. I mean, you, you get uh, uh, an American black artist. So, you know, and, and that really defines the black experience. But the, the Latino experience is, is it, it, it's, it's just as complicated. And it's just as complicated as just being an American. Cuban American or American Cuban? Well, this is the way I look at it. Since, because I have thought about this many times. I am an American citizen, God bless America. However, I was born in Cuba, which makes me a Cuban American. Que soy un Latino. Que vengo acá para dejar mi testimonio, para hacer el, 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 El americano. Ahí dice latinoamericano, americano. Sudamericano. Uh, it's a really interesting situation because uh, I left Cuba when I was seven years old. And I lived in Spain for two and a half years in Madrid. And I arrived in the United States in 1974. So by definition, I would be considered a Cuban-American. But I consider myself Cuban. I consider myself to be an American Spaniard, American Spanish person. 
And um, I'm very proud of that. And I wouldn't be one without the other. So I embrace them both. America, America. At the turn of the millennium, it still cries, still fights, still ignores, still sounds in the four corners of the earth. America, Madre America. No longer white, blue, and red. A new sound, a new color, a new brush stroke. Yellow, mahogany, purple, scarlet, gold, Latino.